There is a big number of brothers and sisters that send me messages, comments, and emails that tell me about the fact that they cannot repent. It is a frequent thing I hear this type of comment. I can't stop sinning. I have gone too far. Even though I try, I always go back to my sin. And I can't even bring myself to repent. I don't feel remorse. I don't feel conviction. If you truly want to come to Jesus, you need to be desperate about finding him. And you need the missing ingredient. That missing ingredient is a true willingness to repent of sin. True willingness to find Jesus Christ. The people that are engaging in sin have not really found Jesus yet. They don't truly know the holiness of God. This is what happens when we are born again. We experience the holiness of God because when the Spirit of God comes and lives inside of us for the first time, when God sheds His Spirit inside our hearts, we will realize how filthy and offensive our sins are to him. When we were disobeying him, we will understand how that was very offensive to God, how we needed the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross in order to save us. So to the brothers and sisters who ask me, how can I get born again? And they start wondering whether they should repent or stop sinning first and then come to Jesus. Or they say, should I believe first and then Jesus will deliver me from my sins? And all through this confusion of how people should get born again, people are lacking that missing ingredient. And that missing ingredient is about that desperate crying out to God, that true willingness to find the truth. If we have that, brothers and sisters, we don't need to ask ourselves what formula we should use to get born again. God will take care of it. God is not a God of formulas. God is a God who will reveal himself to us. If we are serious about finding him, if we cry out to him with a desperate heart, if we truly seek God, we will find him. If we are desperate about finding the truth, we will find the truth. He promises us that he will reveal himself to us. But we need to be willing to repent. We need to be willing to come to Jesus, telling him that we want to obey him. If we are not serious about wanting to obey Jesus, if we are not serious, then we will not get born again. This is our part of the equation. God draws us and he quickens our spirits. But then we need to respond to the call of God by having a true willingness, by having that heart that is seeking God that wants to find him. Jesus is not far from any person and he knocks on the door of the heart of every person. We only need to be desperate about opening that door. We only need to follow after him, cry out to him, and he will reveal himself to us. God is alive. Jesus Christ is risen. And he's as much alive today as he was when he first resurrected. He never changes. If we go to Jesus desperately, if we cry out to him, if we seek him, we will find him. But we need to have that missing ingredient that is a true willingness, a true desperate and seeking heart that wants to find the truth. And may God bless you.